Hello guys, it's me Sim Orohara and in this video I'll talk about Matsumoto as a Shinigami and what her Bankai might actually be. When I think of Matsumoto, I find that Kobo could have told us a lot about her as a character. Of course, beside her big tits, no one can deny that they are the thing that grabs your attention when you first see her. But if Kobo really wanted to focus on her, we would have seen Matsumoto with a different look because Matsumoto has several ingredients that are not found in many in terms of her role in the story as well as the distinguished Zanpakuto that she possesses which is considered to be uh, like a female version of Senbon Zakara. And what many people don't know is that Kobo before the beginning of the final arc had confirmed that her past would be key to the story. He didn't specify any exact past but probably her past as a child which we saw part of when Kobo showed Gin's past with her. Unfortunately, Kobo didn't show the full past of Matsumoto in the final arc, but I do think that her past would probably be related to Aizen and Ryu, the Soul King, because in the novel there is a flashback of a conversation that took place between Aizen and Tosin. So Aizen talked about very important things such as his true goal and about the original scene of nobles and how they had a role in making Ryu in the stage we saw in chapter 612. So in that flashback Aizen mentioned Matsumoto. It is possible that Matsumoto's past that we saw in the anime, Kobo was going to redraw it in the last arc but in the full picture that shows us all those facts. And also there is something else, which we can consider that Matsumoto, the first one who discovered the talent of Toshiro, because she is the one who met him and invited him to become a Shinigami. And this arises a question, when did Matsumoto exactly become a Shinigami? Because Momo, Renji and Kira had just joined the academy at that time, and all of them later become a vice captain, like her. And this means, if we want to be more precise, Matsumoto is considered the oldest vice captain of her generation as we saw in the flashback that took place 20 years ago without calculating the escape time. At that time Matsumoto was a vice captain while Toshiro has been in the third seat. So throughout that time Matsumoto had plenty of room to evolve whether by developing her Zanpakuto techniques at the level of Shikai or reaching Bankai especially when we know that Matsumoto's soul contained the Soul King's nail because in chapter 416 we notice how Aizen was talking about feeding his Hogyoku with hundreds of Shinigami souls as well as hundreds of ordinary souls that have potential to be a Shinigami. Among those souls was Matsumoto and this what was revealed in the manga. But in the novel and in that flashback that I mentioned a while ago, Aizen talked about Matsumoto and how her soul contained the Soul King's nail. So what triggered me in Aizen's speech is this paragraph. He said that Matsumoto was supposed to die after taking a large part of her soul but that didn't happen and he said that this may be because of the effect of the Soul King's nail that was inside her soul. Meaning that Matsumoto, even after the King's nail was taken from her, the traces of its strength remained in her body. It is true that Matsumoto herself may never have known that she had the, the Soul King's nail inside of her. But if Matsumoto had developed herself over the past 20 years, she would surely have been at high level, both in terms of strength and techniques of the Shikai or even be able to release the Bankai. But it's it seems that the lazy Matsumoto character contributed a lot uh, to her failure to develop her level to a better level than it was in the Arankara arc or in the final arc. And this leads us to talk about Matsumoto's Zanpakuto Hainiko. To begin with, the name Hainiko means Ash Cat, High Ash and Niko Cat. And as we saw in the Zanpakuto failed arc, the shape of Hainiko was in the form of a human cat. As for Hainiko's abilities, and as I said in the beginning of this video, they are completely similar similar to the abilities of the Senbon Zakra. For example, Sebon Zakra, at the level of Shikai, its blade turns into Sakura leaves, while the handle remains as it is, through which Byake controls the Sakura sharp leaves. And this is exactly what Matsumoto does. As soon as she pronounces the release command, the blade of the sword turns into ashes. But in the case of Hainiko, she uses her other hand also to determine the directions of the ashes, as well as the formation of several forms, whether offensive or defensive. And this is what Byake does too. That's why I said 
said that Hainiko can be considered the female version of Sinbon Zakra in terms of mechanism of action. If Matsumoto had tried making more effort to raise her Ryatsu, Matsumoto would have been one of the most powerful women in Bleach story. And other than that, Hainiko allows her to attack the enemy, whether near or far, and attack a large number at the same time, like what she did in her attack against Apache, Sunsun, and Lisa Lisa. But after the end of the Arankara arc and the death of Gin, the person she loved the most and she lived her childhood with, she finally learned the sacrifices he made for her. And Matsumoto knew that she must uh, move forward and train to raise her strength like the others, such as Hisagi and Rinji and also her captain, Toshiro. It is true that in the last arc we didn't see much of her, but her fight uh, in the second invasion against Busby with uh, her captain Toshiro. However, I do think now after the skip time of 12 years that Matsumoto must have and should have a Bankai. We are talking about more than 20 years of being a vice captain in addition to another 12 years. If she doesn't develop herself to have a Bankai, then when? So for all of this, I think that Matsumoto is able to release the Bankai. And as a theory, the Bankai, in my opinion, as a first look, will not change the basic ability of Shikai, which is Ash. But as a form, I think that Matsumoto may have a tail like Yurichi in the cat's mode and claws as well but in the case of Matsumoto the tail will have a flame of fire because you know the ash is formed mainly by the burning of something so the main factor in the presence of ash is the presence of fire so the tail will carry a fiery flame and it will be the source uh, in the formation of a very powerful fiery ash and lethal to the opponent which will make Rangiku I mean Matsumoto able to cut and burn at the same time and by the way there is a famous myth in Japan about a type of cats called Bakiniko. The funny thing is that these cats uh, are born normal at first without a certain strength but after 12 years they get superpowers so that they can summon fireballs and form a flame on their tail and so it's fine that we have also 10 year, uh, 12 years since the final war of the Quincy. So I imagine uh, this scenario Matsumoto says that after uh, 12 years I'm finally able to awaken Hainiko power at the Bankai level. Anyway, if the communication becomes good between Matsumoto and Hainiko and was able to submit her, she will be able to release the Bankai. And going back to what I said about the Bankai, Matsumoto will be able to use a concentrated and strong amount of ash mixed with fire. She will also be able to form huge claw strikes that she sends towards the enemy using her hand claws. So the weak point of the Bankai will be that her tail shouldn't get any harm because her tail will be the source of strength of her strong ashes and fire. I had another idea about Matsumoto's Bankai, but since her level isn't that strong, I didn't think she will make it because this ability that I thought of would literally make her very OP. So what is this ability? Simply if Byakuya's sword at the Bankai level can completely turn into Sakura leaves, meaning uh, that the handle itself turns into Sakura leaves, then Matsumoto becomes all able to turn into ashes, like the ability of Asajiro Soya, who merges with air. But in Matsumoto's case, it is with ashes, but this is almost, it's not gonna happen if I don't say it is impossible, even as theory in my opinion, because I consider this tape uh, as the last thing the Shinigami can reach after he mastered the Bankai perfectly, like the old man who manifested the sun itself in one of his directions of the Bankai, so that he became himself the source of the fire or Ichigo with the final gets the potential. However, tell me guys your opinion about my theory and tell me yours in the comments and see you guys in my next video.